Bronco Weekly Sports Wrap is back. Welcome to the first edition of the 2014-15 academic year. I'm Denzel Johnson. And I'm Nikki Gilday. It's great to be back. So there was no shortage of Bronco sports action while we were gone, so let's jump right to it. Men's soccer traveled to Southern California this weekend and had a very successful weekend. They took on the number one ranked team, UCLA, and walked away with a 0-0 tie in double overtime. How did the men do on Sunday, Denzel? Well, Nikki, men's soccer closed out the weekend with a 1-0 victory over UC Riverside, where goalkeeper Kendall McIntosh collected his fourth consecutive shutout. I Bronco reporter Edson Cardona came into the studio earlier to talk to his teammate about the weekend. Hi Bronco fans, I'm here with Kendall McIntosh, goalie for the men's soccer team. Tell us what it was like to play versus uh, number one UCLA in Riverside. Uh, it was a great experience, especially for me and the boys, just to see the uh, top caliber teams, especially uh, teams that we could face later. And I mean, we had a great result. The guys put their heart and soul into the game. And I mean, it showed in our result and it showed in how we battled throughout uh, regular time and overtime. It was just, it was a great experience for the boys. And I mean, we need to continue to do things like that. And being, better. and saying that UCLA was the number one team in the country, do you feel like we could have beat them? Like, what, what was your take on that? Oh, we definitely had chances. We definitely had chances. And I mean, going forward, we need to work on taking them. But for where we're at right now, I think we're in a great place. And if we continue to get better, we'll, uh, we'll have a good chance to go deep into the playoffs, I believe. And looking, at, looking forward into our uh, schedule, we have Fullerton coming up next weekend, and I found out that you're WCC Player of the Week. <laughs> Woo! Congrats. And um, what, do you, what do you think would, would your preparation would have to be to keep shutouts and not let any goals in? Uh, just continue to work with the back line. I think uh, the guys, the five guys that are in front of me, Stu, Parker, Val, Ben, Alfie, they're doing a great job right now protecting me. And not just them, but the entire team. They're all doing excellently defensively. And I think uh, we need to continue to do that. And if we do, we'll uh, continue to see the same success that we are right now. And as a trip as a whole, what you, was, was it great? Was it fun? A lot of highlights. What do you think? Uh, lots of fun. It's always fun to get points on the road. Always fun to get wins. And, I mean, the atmosphere around the boys is great right now. So we just need to keep it rolling. Back to you guys. The team continues non-conference play this weekend when they travel to Cal State Fullerton on Friday. On the women's side, the team beat Dayton on Friday night 1-0 with a goal from Kat McAuliffe, then fell to their Bay Area rival number 11 Cal on Sunday 1-0. Volleyball had a busy weekend in the Stanford Invitational. They started off strong at home with a three-set win over Penn and also defeated number 20 Duke in three straight sets. They fell at number one Stanford, but Taylor Milton and Katie Edwards were all tournament. That's right, Nikki. Outside hitter Sabrina Clayton came in earlier to talk with iBronco reporter Madison Dutcher about the team's killer 8-2 start to the season. Thanks, guys. So we had our first home matches this weekend against UPenn and number 20 Duke. Sabrina, how do you think we played against UPenn on Friday night? Um, I think we started out a little bit nervous and shaky being on um, the court for the first time, but I think that it got a lot better during the second game, and, um, and I think we ended up playing very well at the end. Definitely great to get that first W. The next morning we had a quick turnaround and played number 20 Duke. What was the energy like in, in that match? Um, I think we were a lot more comfortable on the court. We were a lot less anxious and I think that the passers were passing very well, the setters were setting very well and it was helping me be able to see the court and be able to hit um, to the best of my ability. And I was very focused serving and I think that helped fire up the team and help gain my confidence for the rest of the match. That was a big one. We actually recently learned we are now ranked in the top 40 teams in the country because of beating number 20 Duke. So we just had a meeting. In practice this week, what are we looking to improve on when we go down to Southern California for our last preseason tournament? Um, I think one of the biggest things is serve receive. Uh, we had a little bit of trouble um, with that during the past three mat matches over the weekend. But um, if we focus on our technique, I think that'll get a lot better. And also blocking. We had a little bit of trouble during the Stanford blocking them. So I think if we focus on being more aggressive with our hands and focus on our eye work, it'll get a lot better. Those are some great points. All right, back to you guys. Volleyball heads to Santa Barbara this weekend before heading into WCC competition on September 26th versus USF. Santa Clara's cross country teams took to Sunnyvale's Balins Park on Saturday for the WCC preview meet. 
The men had three runners in the top ten and finished second overall, while the women took seventh. That's right, Denzel. I Bronco caught up with second place finisher Kurt Ruig and top Bronco runner Kelly Ryan. I'm convinced this is the fastest course in the country. So, um, yeah, I'm really excited to race here three times. This is a good practice, just getting a feel for it. My goal is to break 24 here by the end of the season. So, yeah, this is a good start. It went pretty good today. I think it was good for our first race. Um, we want to be a little more at the front, but you know, we haven't, it's early in the season. We have three more races here and we have at least six more during the season. So I think it's going to be really interesting to see what we can do because we have a very young team. We graduated three of our top seven last year, which top seven score. So I think once the freshmen get used to our program and once we get our girls ready to roll, I think we're going to be really good. But today was a good first race. The men's team will split its squad for its next competition on September 27th. Part of the team heads east to the Roy Griak Invitational, while the others will be with the Bronco women at the Stanford Invite that same day. Good luck to the teams moving forward. Men's water polo competed in the Bruno Fall Classic in Providence, Rhode Island, where the team collected three wins over ranked opponents. The team will stay on the road for the NorCal Invitational, where they'll take on number two Cal. Good luck to the team. Lastly, women's golf claimed second place at the Hobble Creek Fall Classic on September 9th. They were just 13 strokes behind New Mexico. The men's team opened their season on Monday at the St. Mary's Invitational in Seaside. Good luck to the team. Well, Nikki, how was your very first episode as co-anchor? It was fun. I'm excited for the rest of the year. Nice. I think it's going to be a good year also. And Bronco fans, make sure you guys go check out the YouTube channel for all the iBronco videos and get a behind-the-scenes look into Santa Clara Athletics. Well, that's going to do it for this week's edition of the Bronco Weekly Sports Wrap. Go Broncos! On the women's side. <laughs> yep, that's what, that's what we're talking about. Friday night with a goal from Kat McAuliffe. All right, Kat McAuliffe. McAuliffe. All right. McAuliffe. McAuliffe. 1-0 with a coal. <laughs> with a coal. Yeah, they're not playing with soccer balls anymore. <laughs> playing with coal. Hot coal. Bronco caught up with second place. <laughs> <laughs> what, I don't even know what I'm saying now. <laughs> Santa Clara. Okay. Cal on Sunday, 1-0. <laughs> oh, I thought that's what we were saying. <laughs> no, no, you, you go in. Like, you okay. take 